Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Helicools Helipad. <laughs> I really enjoyed some of your comments on the last video of part one. This is part two. It's time to get the new batteries in to the battery box and to get that equalizer all wired up. You guys stay tuned. <laughs> Take your jewelry and wedding bands off before you start working with these batteries. Now that I have the batteries positioned more or less where I want them, and I know that I'm gonna have space for everything in there, what I'm gonna do is make a little mark at the very front of this measure it back because I, I still don't have anything that is securing the batteries in there. So now I need to work on a little bit of that. All right, so I've measured 11 and 3 quarter which is the size of the battery and I'm going to be putting uh, this chunk of metal in there uh, so that the batteries will actually rest back up against it and then I'll have to put another uh, piece of channel in here um, just secured with a few screws easy done Well, now it's just musical batteries to figure out how I can get most of these cables to fit in there. <laughs> so I don't have to cut a whole bunch of others and, and, uh, and fabricate. So here we go. And with the new battery configuration, it pretty much blocks this area. So if I want to reconnect the NATO port, I'm gonna have to drill just a little bit of a hole on the side here. If you don't have this on the inside of your battery box, here's a little clip of it. And let's go ahead and put all of the positives together first, negatives last. There is the first line. As you can see the 24 volt coming into the positive side. And that going right over to the other positive side of the second battery. And that is also connected to the NATO plug. Well, I had to evacuate <laughs> into the area here. But what I'm doing is I'm making up a cable. Um, I got this really cool hydraulic um, press here to squeeze the cable on there. It's working fantastically. Um, very, very nice tool. Um, it is a YQK-70 hydraulic crimping tool. And 
It's got all kinds of dies that go to it. And the die that's installed is actually the one that I need anyway. So got me some solid brass connectors. Don't forget to use the parts that God has given you. If you need to sacrifice something, an old cable that you're not going to use, heck, why not? So just about dark last night, I finally got everything hooked up and wired in where it should go. I know it looks like a spaghetti factory in here, but if you treat these two batteries as the the one that was in the back and one that was over here in the back and these two batteries as the one that was in the front here and the other one that was in the front here. And all you have to do is take that diagram and put everything back to where it was. Now I had to create a couple of cables because, you know, it was hard to do the little zigzag in the middle because they're not, they're not aligned that way anymore. So, that's what I got. But if you just follow the rules, follow the template, you'll have no problem figuring it out. All right, I just finished up the last of the connections. And let me just tell you guys, if you take a picture of where everything goes, especially um, not, not necessarily the battery parts because you can follow the diagram, but all of these lines that, that are ground or 12 volt or where they go, um, take a good picture, label them like I did, and it'll be fairly easy to get them back in if you have any questions about it. Let's fire this thing up. Hopefully the thing won't blow up, right? Now that I have a successful start, which is, you know, let's let's just knock that out out of the way, right? <laughs> Get the thing started, make sure all the batteries are good to go. Now we're gonna install that equalizer. All right, I think I got this secured pretty good with some diamond plate aluminum. Why diamond plate aluminum? Do you really need to ask that? <laughs> it's because I had it. But I got this secured in here with uh, four bolts um, sunk deep inside. So, uh, right here is a beautiful, beautiful spot now for that awesome, awesome equalizer. All right, guys, I need to make up a couple more lines. I'm using just a little bit smaller, uh, gauge wire. And really all you need to do is hook the 24 volt side of the equalizer up to the positive of the 24 volt side of the battery and the 12 volt side to the 12 volt side to a positive and then hook the ground up to ground. It's just that simple. Now an easy way to determine how much cable that you need, um, I just take a rope That's how much I need right there. Take and measure that. That's how long my cable needs to be. 
equalizer is in. And as I say, the 24 volt side, the 12 volt side, and the ground all hooked up where it needs to be. Let's start her up and do a little test. charging those batteries 28.7 which is actually a little high I think uh, for the 24 volt side and 14.3 consistent for the 12 volt side so that alternator is working great the uh, batteries are getting charged up and it looks like that uh, equalizer is doing just fine well I just took Malachi for a drive and <laughs> I have to say, everything worked perfectly. As a matter of fact, and I don't know what the deal is, but man, it was shifting so much nicer now. I think it's actually getting the correct power. And those other batteries were probably just toast. I mean, they, they were the ones that came with this vehicle. I've been milking them and milking them for the last two and a half, three years. And finally, I got a new set of batteries, got a nice equalizer. Next time, I'll be putting in that uh, battery tender, so you won't want to miss that. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed some of those uh, special effects that I've thrown in there. I've been messing around with some green screen special effects, but I want to leave you with one last note. Can you imagine what this door has seen? <laughs> And from all of us at the Anderson household, have a happy Thanksgiving. Be truly thankful for all that you have. And if you're not watching this on Thanksgiving Day, that's fine. Just know that this was a Thanksgiving Day special. But you know what? Every day, we should be thankful for all that we have. Count your blessings. Until next time, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe. And God bless.